violate the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment, including the right to privacy. 1976, the Hyde Amendment. All federal funding for abortion is banned. Roe v. Marr, 1977. 
The Supreme Court says a state does not have to fund a woman's abortion, even if it will pay for the cost of childbirth. 1980, Medicaid is under no obligation to provide funding for abortions, even those considered to be medically necessary. 1989, the Supreme Court upholds a Missouri law stating that life begins at conception. 1991, the Supreme Court upholds a regulation that states that there are no abortion counseling or referrals in programs that receive public funds. Planned Parenthood v. Casey, 1992. The Supreme Court overturns almost every judicial precedent set for abortion since 1976. 2003, George W. Bush signs the Partial Birth Abortion Act into law. 2004, the Hyde Weldon Amendment. Every healthcare entity in America can refuse the right to perform, finance, provide coverage for, and refer for abortions. 2004, the Unborn Victims of Violence Act. 2006, federal abortion ban, Gonzales v. Carhartt. 2007, the Supreme Court upholds George W. Bush's notion that legislators are better able to determine what is best for a woman's health than her own doctor. But they'll never overturn Roe v. Wade. Yeah, these liberals, they just love abortion. And I see them going up to women on the streets being like, excuse me, miss, have you tried? I've seen them out in front of hospitals with picket signs harassing women with newborn babies. It's like they want every woman in the United States to abort a pregnancy. Let's make this clear, people. They're not pro-choice, they're pro-abortion. Well, Patty, you look sensational. Thank you. What's your secret? Collagen implants? A new diet? No, I just had an abortion. And I'm telling you, I've never felt better. <laughs> I'm running again, playing tennis, having great sex, and just look at my fabulous hair. I think I want an abortion. And you should come with me to abortion land. Abortion land! Abortion land! Hi, I'm Mr. Abortion, and these are the abortionettes. Hello. And let me be the first to say welcome. I understand you're new here. Be our guest at abortion land! Yay, abortion! Here at the Abortion Land Clinic and Spa Resort, you can abort your unwanted fetus in sinful luxury. Enjoy a soothing pre-abortion massage and fruit wash at no extra cost. After hours, relax at the stylish Abortion Land Lounge. Go ahead, smoke a cigarette, have a drink. You're not having a baby. <laughs> Abortion land. Indulge yourself. Then, post-op, you'll relax in our world-class spa, where you'll be rubbed down by oiled, muscular humps, so you'll be sure to come back again soon. Having an abortion is so much easier than using a condom. And more funner, too. And now, during our summer special, bring a friend and get a second abortion free. Social butterfly? No problem. Bring a third friend and get the third abortion half price. We're practically giving them away. <laughs> Take home a handsomely produced souvenir DVD so you and your friends can enjoy your abortion again and again. I just had an abortion, and I can't wait to have another. Why have a baby when you can have an abortion? Abortion land! Take off the weight! <laughs>
politics. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Come in. Hello, Mrs. Martin. It's your next door neighbor, Ted. This is Ted. And I have been to overhear what your daughter here just said. This way you shouldn't talk about politics. I thought that I knew you. I gave you my spare key. And you've always been so nice to my partner, Tom and me. How could it be? I think I know what's coming. How can it be? Republican. 